See, now, I, yeah, now I look like I was just born with this. It's totally normal. It's not true. It's not true. No one has to know. <laughs> well, they're going to because we're putting you on video, sorry. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Today I am actually here with Miss Kathleen. She is behind the vlog. Carrie Bradshaw lied. Yes. Hello. Say hello. Um, we actually just put in her first set of natural beauty row hair extensions and we my did her new color. Life. I know. Sorry, not sorry. Oh my gosh. You might be a little bit addicted. There's no going back from this moment <laughs> ever. But I, we are kind of just talking about um, different extensions she's tried and things like that. So. I'm gonna kind of just put you on the spotlight, but tell me, you know, what made you want to come and try these, and what ones have you tried in the past? Yeah. So about ten years ago, I had um, some individual beaded extensions, um, and I loved them, but I let them, you know, stay in a little too long. Got matted, similar to a dog. Had to take them Aww. out, and it was a sad moment. But since then, I've mostly worn clip-in extensions, halo extensions. And I'm, I have a decent head of hair, not great. I feel like but you have good hair. I have enough hair to wear for fullness. I'll just clip in some, but I'm finding myself wearing them more and more, more and more. And so I think it's time to kind of explore something a little more permanent. But I think anyone who hasn't had permanent extensions is you worried get nervous, that you're going to sure. like lose all your hair. And so I knew that if I was <laughs> going to do it, I wanted to go somewhere where I really wouldn't damage my hair and would do something. Um, that really was going to help it look full and natural, but not ruin your hair exactly, pretty much. Exactly. So you had tried just the beaded ones and then clip-ins and then you said you've done a halo too, right? I've done a halo and I do like how it adds that fullness, but yeah. I felt like it was itchy. Yeah, and a little bit uh, shifty maybe? I, and I think after wearing clip-ins for so long, I just was worried. I mean, even though I know it was secure, I felt like at any moment it would just blow off my head. Yeah, I know. I, it's, it those feel, sometimes I feel like you need little clippies to exactly. get those to stay in. Or something in. just to make, yeah, because if it does shift even just a tiny bit, it feels like it's shifting a lot more than it actually is because you feel it and you're like, oh, it's fine. But right. it just made me a little too, a little nervous. But I love how that it added that fullness, and that's what I'm really excited about, how this is kind of in a similar... Well, and you who were asking me, um, you know, just for your blog, yeah. what what makes these different, how, or how do I describe these? Because you had only really experienced the one type of extensions, yeah. and you've never done kind of a row or a beaded row, and a lot of people will even ask me, you know, why are these, what's different about your beaded rows and other beaded rows? Right. And I, honestly, it kind of comes down to not just how they're attached, but how much hair is in. I, I mixed about three different colors on you. I yeah. kind of paint roots. They're very seamless. Like a lot of people say when they pull their hair up, they can't see them, mm -hmm. and so I feel like with the extensions, it's all the little details details um, and the other thing that's cool about these is you only have I mean she has so much hair you guys and this is only a row and a mini um, I use a type of hair that I use is called hand tied hair and it's a little bit finer weft and so it allows me to stack more pieces of hair on one row but it also kind of creates more fullness with less damage yeah. because it's not attached to as many areas you know I can't believe how fast yeah that speedy was. yeah usually the only other time I've done it it was like a nine hour oh, yeah. thing it was a whole day and so to me that already is a good sign for your actual hair that it's like right. it's not like it's a process it has to go all over your head and take 10 hours but I love that. look to the side here and see how the the row is exposed but look yeah. how well that blends yeah just I mean it's all the little fine look how, details I mean this is like so minimal you can't yeah. really even see it's, it, for a row it lays fairly flat yeah and I always tell my clients it should feel secure but not like painful or anything like that that's amazing and you'll be able to pull your hair up because you have all this hair to work around and you can kind of move around which is great for your lifestyle and things like that so it's funny because a lot of people will ask me about the extension hair you know how long does it last um, and that kind of thing I the type of hair I use is by a company called Boheme and I feel like their ha hair lasts anywhere from four to six months some I feel like brunettes last a little bit longer that's but amazing. that's pretty good but one of my biggest secret to keeping hair lasting the longest is I always kind of put a semi-permanent when clients come back in or a toner to refresh and make it look like hair like I would never take this out and just put it back in it usually always fades out and I'm just right. so picky with the color blending and I don't want you to feel too 
ombre or too brassy. So even a lot of times with some of my clients, my brunette clients, they don't maybe need their real hair touched up. Um, or if they do, maybe just a toner and then yeah. I'll just tone the extensions as well. So it's pretty low maintenance and you just tighten them. It only takes me about an hour to do a tighten if I don't do color, which that's is like a, so... I mean, like for extensions, a that's, a, that's, that's a big crazy. deal. And then you usually, yeah, for color and extensions, it's about three hours. So maintenance wise, it, you could be in and out of the salon every six to eight weeks and it only takes an hour out of your day and you get all this hair. Yeah. So. Well, I think something I'm really surprised about is, and I do wear clip-ins fairly often, so I'm used to having something, feeling something in my scalp, but this feels so light Yeah, how it, much hair it is. People always tell me that. You'd be surprised. They're like, oh my gosh, I thought these would feel heavier. Right. But again, it's it down is, to... It's a lot of hair. I mean, it's, a, it's a lot of hair, but it, the, the type of hair, um, how much hair is on each row, how it's placed, but yeah, and I try to do them like snug, but not painful, you know, no. so it ends up feeling... Pretty, well, pretty light. Really, I mean, I feel like clip-ins can be more painful because depending on where you yeah. place them, sometimes they can pull on hair. And so this is, a, is actually really comfortable. I think, you know, mostly just wearing clip extensions more and more. I knew that I wanted more fullness and I wanted it to be something that, you know, everyone wants to wake up with a great head of hair. It's like, that's what everybody wants. And so I knew that I wanted something that was a little more permanent and that would uh, look natural and really add that fullness that I'm always trying to get with clip-ins and halo extensions. But I wanted something better. You know, I think you wear clip-ins for a while and sometimes you see that they're not blended really well or your hair grows and I wanted something that looked nicer. I feel like clip-ins sometimes don't add enough hair and a halo almost is too much. Exactly. I you totally agree. You need like an in-between. I think so because it's like I've felt that way sometimes with, and I've had my halo blended into my hair. It's but still, I, it's really bulky. I top agree. Hand. I agree. It still feels that way. And then with clip-ins, I'll feel like I have plenty of hair and then I'll take a photo and it will look like I don't have hardly anything in at all. Right. It's like, this is like a good balance exactly. where you don't feel too wiggish and exactly. then, but it's more than just clip-ins. But it's even better because it's all the time. Because it's all the time. You just always wake up like a Victoria's yes, Secret. My mom. husband's gonna be thrilled that I'm no longer taking out my hair and tossing it on the bed. You know? <laughs> You're like, oh, let me get this yeah, out. Yeah, let me take this out. <laughs> it looks so cute. I love, I love it. it. You add this much hair, you think that it's gonna be heavy, yeah. and it feels really comfortable, and it doesn't even feel like I added this much hair. See now, I, yeah, now I look like I was just born with this. It's not true. It's not true. No one has to know. Well, they're gonna, because we're doing your videos already. That's true. And I'm gonna be writing about it on the internet. That's true. You know, until then. If it looks natural, who cares? Yeah, right? until then, pretend. I knew it was, I was gonna be an addict. This is day one. Sorry, not sorry. It's day one of the rest of your life, Danielle. Yeah. My last time I was like, I'm gonna be like 90 and I'm gonna be like coming with my water and like, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm like, I'm gonna leave feeling amazing. This is really, really something. I love it. I'm so hooked and I love it. No going back. Okay, you guys, so you've seen a little bit of the process. Now come experience the process. All you need to do is click the link below. That's gonna take you directly to my blog where you can go to my contact page and reach out to me. Whether you're a curious student or you're just another girl that loves hair, either way, don't be shy. Make sure to click on the link below.